Hello once again YouTube, this is Frightmare100 and I'm back with you today for a contest entry into Dom, aka Last of Lots, 500 sub contest. Um, massive congratulations man, and I'm pretty sure that by the time you end up drawing for this contest you'll probably have to do one for 600 and 700 and 800 subs, so good luck with that. Um, I've been following you for a long time, a lot of people follow you, you are you've become one of the leading lights in the community. People look up to you. Um, I look up to you mainly because when it comes to a lot of people on here um, and I compare myself to them, I'm fairly new to collecting horror. I've always loved horror growing up but I'm just learning so much and my collection is growing and one of the major reasons for that is you. Um, I don't want to get too sentimental but that's yeah simple as that, you just, you know, you're great, um, your horror room as well, I've mentioned it before, I mean I look at that and I want that room man, um, but hopefully one day I'll get there, um, yeah, but you, you, an inspiration to me, so keep it up man, congratulations again, um, just before we get on, I want to mention again, and I know I'm probably nagging on at everybody, but people need to hear it, Dom and Danny, um, their new channel, get yourself over, just go and subscribe, get it done now, because, well let's put it this way, I've just been today and I think you're at around 60 subscribers, I believe that's right, um, if I know, or if 10% of them are subscribed to me, that's 6 people, um, I've just had a quick look and unbelievable, I'm up to 181 subs, which thank you very much that's incredible but that leaves 175 people that subscribe to me um, even if all of them don't watch my videos there's so many people that are hearing my message to get over and subscribe to Dom and Danny that haven't so go over and do it get it done support them because it's, it's going to be fantastic I'm telling you now so yeah anyways let's just crack on man this is contest entry for you Dom um, Dom would like to know three things, um, our favourite ghost movie, favourite gore movie and favourite Asian horror movie. Um, it, was, it was pretty tough and the first one, I'm sorry Dom but I've got a little bit of a bone to pick with you, the Haunting, that would be my pick straight away, as soon as I heard what you were asking for, this one popped into my head and I was halfway towards the room to pick it up. But you chose it. Can't go for it. Then, after I gutted for a few minutes and I started really thinking about it, I thought, you know what? One of my favourite directors is known for his ghost films. And The Orphanage and Devil's Backbone by Guillermo del Toro. But I've seen these being picked as well. So then it started getting a bit tough, and I thought, you know what, I can't just pick one of them. But I've gone with this one, and it's The Entity, uh, from 1982. Love this film. Um, I only actually watched it just over a year ago for the first time. Uh, don't know why it took me so long to get around to watching it. Um, but it's just incredible. The, the sound design, that kind of, and I'm not good at sound effects, but the noise that accompanies this entity attacking um, Carla, Carla Moran, um, played by Barbara Hershey. When them scenes are happening, that noise just, it gets to you and it gets the hair standing up and it's, it's some creepy stuff. Um, stuff that happens to her, I mean it's messed up, um, but she does a great job. And as I say, one of the big draws for me was the sound design behind the film is fantastic. There's one little niggly bit, it, it kind of bugs me, not massively, but towards the end when the kind of scientific side of it comes in and they recreate her house in the um, in that big open warehouse space and freeze the entity and you get to see this huge thing. And I wasn't so sure about that. It's, it didn't ruin it, but it wasn't the best part of it for me. The other thing, the end 
the end of the film and when I mean it shocked me and I watched it just about a year ago um, I can imagine in 1982 when people first heard when she walks in through them doors and you hear the voice and everybody knows I won't say the word because I hate the word but um, yeah it shocked me simple as that um, wasn't expecting it it was pretty full on and it left a lot to imagination I mean what, what she had already gone through to think she would given herself up to this entity at the end what it were going to do to her so yeah that's my pick for part one favourite ghost movie the entity uh, the next one was favourite gore movie um, yeah a little bit of a, a tough one because the one I've picked is it's probably just a blatantly obvious choice um, I tried to go for something else I looked at something like this Tokyo Gore Police which I absolutely adore um, it's not the best made film the script is fairly terrible in places the storyline is bizarre everything about this is bizarre but it's about gore now you're asking for the favourite gore movie if you were asking similar to kind of the 30 day challenge where it was best use of gore then that's different but you're asking for a favourite gore movie and for me that's a movie that celebrates gore um, that is about gore and that the gore in the film is the driving force for the film and this is just gore that's all it is really um, but it's great fun over the top gore loved it I mean it, the bit towards the end when she's kind of battling the guy um, the chief sergeant and these limbs getting blown off and then the, the kind of flying around the room and it, it <laughs> fantastic loved it um, but my pick is this, and it's brain dead. Um, as I say, it's an obvious choice, or dead alive. Um, don't need to talk too much about it. Um, but it's gore. Well, I mean, whenever you mention gore, this is the film. It's, it was known, and possibly still is known as the goriest film of all time. Whether it still is or not is probably open to debate, but it's brilliant. Sorry, but I have to pick it. I'm I'm saying other people will pick it, they probably won't because it is the obvious choice, so anyway, let's move on. Um, Favourite Asian horror, again a tough one, um, years ago I really got into the whole J-horror thing, um, kind of fell out with it a little bit, but there's one thing I do want to show real quick, now this is it's terrible really, it's this thing. And it's now kind of it's falling apart and it's but I bought this while I was in Sydney, Dom. This is when I lived in Australia in Sydney. And I went to the Chinatown in Sydney and I picked this up. And it was next to nothing. But this has actually got eight movies on it. It's got um Ringu, Ringu 2 and Ringu O. Um Chikushin Ari, the Miss Call films, the three of them, and Grudge and Ju on the Grudge 2. And it's all on one disc. Um, it's like a, I mean, it, it's, it's terrible really, but it's it's like a DVD nine, and it says some sort of HBO special thing. It's awful. I need to go and really get them properly, but I just wanted to show that real quick. It's I don't know. It just reminds me of some good times down under. Um, one I was gonna pick, and I adore this film, and I mentioned it quite a few times, is Audition, um, but I didn't. The one I went for. I think it's fairly well known. Um, don't get really talked about that much, but it's by a couple of directors that probably do some of my favourite films visually. They do some beautiful films, um, and it's the Pang Brothers, Danny and Oxide Pang, and this is their film Recycle. Um, I've just recently picked up The Eye as well. Um, don't know why I didn't have it in my collection, but this one I came across quite a while ago now, and I'd, I'd not heard of it. I didn't know what it you know what it was about really but I picked it up and it was just fantastic um, basically it revolves around this woman she's a writer and she's just recently written it's like a, um, a trilogy of books like love stories and she goes off on a tangent and decides to start writing um, a first kind of horror novel a supernatural novel um, and her idea behind it, the recycle thing, is what happens to not just people but everything in society, possessions, memories, where do they go, what happens after 
they're destroyed or died or you know so anyway she starts writing this novel and she gets kind of drawn into this world um, as she's writing it things start appearing in her apartment as she's writing and she gets drawn into this world now the Pang brothers as I say visually their films are, are stunning um, they do some really beautiful stuff and the world that they create for this film is is beautiful um, it's fantastic uh, she meets once she's there she meets a little girl who kind of shows her through this world um, this world is full of like old toys and fairground rides and things that have just been left to rot and die and are neglected by society and and forgotten about um, there's some pretty strong stuff towards the end she walks through this kind of cave part and there's basically um, not a nice way to say it, but aborted babies um, you know forgotten children um, and it is pretty rough but yeah I mean I'm just going on uh, but it's it's a beautiful film if you've not seen it definitely check it out it's, it's again like their films I there's a lot of CGI just because of the world they have to create there is a lot of CGI um, but it's it's actually well done I'm not the biggest fan of CGI but for this I can I can deal with it um, so yeah, that's it, Dom. Hope that counts. Um, let's have a look again. So, for the three picks, favourite ghost film, got The Entity. Favourite golf film, sorry man, but it, Brain Dead, it's my favourite, it still is. And favourite Asian uh, is Recycle. Once again, Dom, massive congratulations. Um, not much more I can say apart from everybody get to Dom and Danny. Also, obviously, go and if you haven't already subscribed to Last a Lot, you won't regret it. I'm one of the greatest guys you can meet on here. Um, so that's it, man. Good luck with everything. Good luck with the competition. Good luck to everyone who enters. And take it easy.